Hey guys, it's Shar with ASMR, Shar Positive Energy. <clears throat> and I want to do a card reading for this week of sorry, January 23rd. It's the post, and then we had a new moon in Aquarius. Right? Yes, on Saturday. How is everyone doing with the new moon energy? Um, I also wanted to thank you, um, all of you who um, sent well wishes and healing wishes. Last time I recorded it was, and birthday wishes. Uh, it was my birthday, but I just got out of the hospital as well. Um, it's a long story that I'm going to go into detail another time. <laughs> I want to do sort of a... Mm, kind of a story of just like my health and some things I've struggled with um, on, to very recently by the end of February and that'll be a different video kind of with the intention of helping others, helping you, whoever is watching or other whoever watches it in the future to know that you can get through a lot of really, really hard shit. Um, there's always light always light and hope um anyway thank you so much for the birthday wishes and the healing and the prayer and the good vibes i am just so grateful for all of, all of that beautiful energy that you sent um and i'm i'm healing slowly but surely so i'm still walking i wasn't able to walk again very well um I'm still having a lot of numbness um, from my ribs down, but the strength is there and I can walk with a walking stick. I can walk around the apartment without one, so it's coming back. It's getting better. Um, long, long story. Thank you so much. All right, so we're going to do a card reading, and I just felt called to blow some bubbles at the end. A little ASMR uh, match lighting as well. I have this beautiful Palo Santo incense and it's a beautiful amethyst with copper that magnifies the beautiful serene peace of mind amethyst energy. And we have this Palo Santo, which is very, a very natural incense stick. Um, Katie from the Weather Shaman, ASMR. Um, I got this through an affiliate, like her Amazon affiliate, because link, because um, she had a, a video that had, you know, had been sponsored by this company, and it's amazing. I didn't realize that the incense, the first incense I got was sort of cheap, thin incense from Amazon, and my husband and I, this is not sponsored by the way, both started noticing that our sinuses were feeling weird. We didn't. It was just bothering us a lot and like our eyes and I realized, oh yeah, there's a lot of extra chemicals in this incense. Whereas this one, go to Katie ASMR, Weather Shaman ASMR, I mean, um, and use her link. I should probably get my own at some point, but I got it from her. So go over there and use her Amazon link if you really want this. It's completely natural and these go for I think about 80 hours. Total. It's very um, thick and woodsy. It smells like just sweet woods. Palo Santo is holy wood. It smells like you're in the woods. It's there's nothing added to it. Like it's incredible. That's my little spiel on that. Let's light this and then do a little card reading for the week of I'm almost in February, January twenty third through almost February. Um, yeah, next, next week is February, I can't believe it. A little ASMR match tapping. Oops, sorry. I'm just dropping some all over the place. All right. If you're going through a hard or dark time this winter, know that there's light 
at the end of the tunnel always, even if you can't feel or see it, it's absolutely there. beautiful. Imagine you're breathing in the beautiful, cleansing, sweet scent of Palo Santo. Cleansing the space between me and between you through time and space. This is a beautiful cleansing scent and wood. It's an anti-inflammatory which for my personal health issues, um, I have a lot of inflamed nerves. So it's really, really helpful in general, but especially if you have autoimmune related or health issues related to sort of inflamed, inflamed nerves or inflamed digestive issues, anything like that. You can make it into a tea, which I have not done yet, but I'm going to do. Like shave, uh, like you could shave the natural one and boil it in water. Maybe add a little raw honey. I love raw honey and tea. Let's take a few breaths just to sort of center ourselves and try to join me in this present moment. All right, let's breathe in. In the cleansing set, and out. Let's breathe in, out. Try to get in tune with your sort of heart space or heart energy. You can put your hands on your heart if it helps. I'm feeling called to say some of you might need to give yourself a hug um, and feel that self-love and not be hard on yourself so much. I have, and this is just to go, I'm not doing a lot of crystal energy right now, but I'm going to do a video featuring this new, it's like an eight-pointed star. I'm sure there's a name for that. And it's Strawberry Quartz, which is, I saw a video, I don't remember who did it, saying, I was looking up, it's, it shows good crystals for the astrological signs. And this is one that's good for Capricorn, and I'm a double Capricorn. Um, so, I got this beautiful Strawberry Quartz. I'm going to look more into its sort of energies and what it's beneficial for and do a video with this one, but I think it's beautiful and cute and felt like kind of pulling this out for this reading. I also just have a clear crystal quartz and one of my favorite amethyst. We're going to do um, three decks today. I have a new deck. And it's Archangel Animal Oracle. Let's see if you can see. It's very shiny. You can totally see my ring light <laughs> reflected. And let me see who this one is by. This is a little hard to see. Carol. Oh, no, sorry. Carol, 44 card deck. Who is it by? Oh, it's at the top. Diana Cooper. Okay. Diana Cooper, Archangel Animal. And the other, I'm going to use two other decks. Moonology. And that one 
is Yasmin. Who, uh, I love that name. Boland. 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 Yas Yasmin or Yasmin. Boland. And then one of my all time favorites is the fairy Wisdom Oracle by. Let me just make sure. I feel like I say her name a lot, but. by Amy Brown and Nancy Brown. I'm wondering if they're sisters, actually. Um, so what, the art's done by Amy Brown and the, it's written by Nancy Brown. That'd be cool if it was like mother, daughter, cousins, sisters. So I felt called to do these three decks. And we're gonna start with the animal, Archangel animal one. I've already pre-shuffled. What are the messages for the viewers, archangels, and animal spirits this week of January 23rd? What messages could benefit them this week through any challenges? That one was a great answer. Any other messages? two cards that came and I'm going to use my magnifying glass. If you didn't know, I have um, part of the autoimmune. I'm partially blind since uh, a month after my daughter was born. Almost 14 years ago. My daughter is almost 14 next month. So that's why I have to use the magnifying glass. We have Swan Spirit. It says, demonstrate grace and majesty. And we have Archangel. I'm going to butcher this name. I don't know my Archangels that well. It's B H O K P I? Bokpai? Bokpai. Archangel Bokpai. I need to study my Archangels more. But demonstrate grace and majesty. Like this one. So. Um, grace is just something that, um, things that come with ease. Like if you're graceful with something, it comes with ease and very naturally, right? Um, and showing grace towards others also, to me, also means like treating others as you would treat yourself. But using that sort of grace and majesty in the best way, not in a pretentious way, right? So... Maybe a tricky situation might come up this week or um, something with a friend or a career or work or whatever that might test your ability to use grace and majesty in this situation. So Swan Spirit is reminding you to try and remember to use that grace and majesty, that ease, that sort of taking a step back. It makes you think of taking a step back and not judging, but just observing in a very... Again, not pretentious, regal manner. Like, okay, let me think about that. Okay. Like, I see your side of the story. I see your point. Let me think about that and, and take it with grace. That's kind of what I'm getting from that. Um, and then we have Badger Spirit. Makes me think of wind in the willows. So with Badger. It is a wintry burrow. Um, Badger Spirit says, mm, bring your life into balance. Bring your life into balance. That's a really good one. And we have two Archangels, it looks like. Archangels, Mary and Sandal, Sandalfon. Sandalfon. Uh, fun. I'm not saying that right either. P-H-O-N is the end of that second one. Um, not sure. I know Archangel Mary, I'm guessing, is like Mary, the mother of Jesus. But there could be another Mary. Mary. Again, I love these Archangel cards and that I do them with animals, but I don't know my Archangels very well. 
Bring balance into your life is what Badger Spirit is saying. So if you feel like maybe you've been working too hard or working too little, playing a little too hard, um, maybe putting too much attention on one thing or another, um, it's time to sort of evaluate right now and bring your life into balance. And we're going to do Moonology, which is, I think, a beautiful deck. What are messages sort of from the moon energy? for this week of January 23rd for our viewers. Any other messages? Oh, that one. Like, ooh, oh. Okay. Moon energy with three cards. Uh, let's see. Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. Adjustments are required, and that goes along with bringing your life into balance. So maybe take a time to review your life, and in what ways does it maybe need to be balanced more, and make those adjustments accordingly. Those adjustments are required, sort of after the badger spirit. I would say do that first, review, and make adjustments as necessary. And they're required as in to... Uh, Sort of bring your life into better balance, into more joy, happiness, more authenticity. Take time hmm, to breathe out. Oh, that's beautiful. Hmm. Whoa. Dissem disseminating moon. I've never heard of that. Okay. Disseminating moon. Take time. To breathe out. I'm getting a sense from that of just breathing out specifically negative energy, anything. And just take time out of your day to meditate, work that into your routine for self-care. Take time to breathe out negativity from your day on a daily basis. I'm feeling this uh, probably maybe not all of you, but some of you for sure need to maybe take more time to do that as part of your regular daily routine. Meditate, self-care, 10 minutes at least to breathe out. That one's beautiful. And then we have the third card, which is work through your fears. Wow. New moon in Scorpio. Hmm. Ooh, that's like the shadow work kind of one, I feel. Work through your fears. You're being called to work through your fears. Whether they're big seeming or small seeming fears to you or others, it doesn't matter whether it's a fear. Maybe I'm getting a sense of getting, stepping outside your comfort zone, doing something adventurous and different. Like, for example, if you're afraid to get up in the front of other people like I am, but you wind up want to do, go do some karaoke or open mic night or just talk in a group. I personally actually get really anxious and kind of clam up sometimes if there's a group of people that I don't know, especially. So for me, I would go do something like that and maybe push through that fear of talking in front of people and saying something. That's just an example. Working through your fear possibly of Maybe being rejected by a new meetup group. I'm just getting a really strong sense of um, just working through your fears. I'm getting a strong sense of in public for some reason. I mean, that's just because I'm, I'm that way. But any fears that come up for you right now, um, that is, you're being called to work through those fears. And I don't know where I put my three or my three. Oh, that's right. Um... I actually took it out of the box. Let's put it over here. Okay. Don't mind me. I've taken them out of the box to work with them. Make sure they're going the right way. This is the last one for now. And I do a little bit of a shuffle. My um, very close friend Anna actually got a tattoo based off one of these cards. 
of a fairy sitting on top of books reading. My friend loves reading. And she got a very cool tattoo on her thigh based off of one of these oracle cards, which actually came out when I was doing a reading for her, which is super cool. By the way, I do offer personal readings, oracle card readings. Um, you can see the description box below for the details on that. Anywhere from, um, there's two choices for that, and then I do custom videos. I'm terrible at remembering to say that. Um, I offer custom videos as well, anywhere from five minutes up. So if you want to check that out, I would love to help and connect with you in that way. All right, so we're going to get some fairy wisdom from the fairy spirit, from the fairy realm for this week of January 23rd. Any messages? Birth of magic. Look beautiful little dragons. The birth of magic. I'm getting a good sense of maybe it's time almost like a rebirth of magic within yourself, connecting with that inner child and believing in magic, like rebirthing magic within yourself. I'm gonna go a little quicker because I think I have to get my daughter off the bus. So. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Oh yeah, this one's so cute. Human myth. We have a dragon reading a book about human myth. And to me, it kind of has a sense, along with magic, of us believing in magic. Like to other people or to other beings, like dragons, we might seem like a myth. Whereas to us, they seem like myths, possibly. But we all exist, and possibly just in different realms, different dimensions, different ways, right? And different... Uh, energies. So I'm getting really a strong sense of believing in magic, believing in the dragon, power of dragon magic. Lots of beautiful magic in these fairy cards. And I'm just going to blow a few bubbles. I just felt called to do that with the fairy energy. And then I'll say goodbye for now. I don't know if you can see them very well. Let me try to get them this way. Do something fun today as well. If you you just something as simple and fun as blowing bubbles. I encourage you to sort of do something fun and childlike today. I will see you soon for the next video. Bye.